Let me show you what turned my life every way but loose. Setting goals. It's easy to get trapped by economic necessity and settle for existence rather than substance. But the best advice I, I can give you on how to break out of that trap is to learn how to set goals. Mr. Shelf put it to me this way. He said, Jim, if you had enough reasons, you could do the most incredible things. See, reasons will change your whole life. I think you've got plenty of intelligence, you've got plenty of talent, you've got plenty of ability. Probably what you lack is plenty of reasons. Here's what else I found out. Reasons come first, answers come second. Life has a mysterious way of hanging on to all the answers and only gives them up to the people that are inspired by reasons. Now, what are some of the reasons for doing well? Let's go through a quick list. First is personal reasons. Some people do well for respect. Some people do well for the way it makes them feel. They love the feeling of being a winner. And see, it's not just the money anyway. It's the journey, not the money. Once in a while, somebody says to me, boy, if I had a million dollars, I'd never work another day in my life. That's probably why the good Lord sees to it they don't get their million, right? <laughs> They'd quit. They'd quit. Next is family reasons. Some people do extremely well for other people. Sometimes we will do things for somebody else we will not do for ourselves. How fortunate are the people that find themselves greatly affected by somebody for personal achievement. When Andrew Carnegie died, they opened up his desk and in one of the desk drawers, they found a slip of paper. On that piece of paper, Mr. Carnegie had written his goal for his life. And on that piece of paper, it said, I'm going to spend the first half of my life accumulating money. I'm going to spend the last half of my life giving it all away. Good question tonight. What's got you turned on? What's got you bombed out of sight to get up early and stay up late and hit it all day? What's got you turned off? When I found the answers to those two questions, my life exploded into change. I've fallen out of the sky a few times, but I've never lost that drive to make something unique out of my life. See, reasons altered my whole life. Sometimes it doesn't take much. Sometimes those little reasons are the most powerful reasons that can change your life. Just before I met Mr. Shelf, I heard a knock at the door. I go to the door and there's a little girl standing there about this tall selling Girl Scout cookies. Special deal, several flavors, this whole package of stuff, two dollars. Big problem. I don't have two dollars. And I didn't want to tell her that for some reason. So I did what I thought was next best. I lied to her. <laughs> when she left, I closed the door. And that was the day I said to myself, I don't want to live like this anymore. I promised that day I would work as hard as possible and would always carry plenty. It took me a little while, but now I do. And I guess I carry plenty for two reasons. One is the way it makes me feel, but also in case I bump into another Girl Scout selling cookies. It was just one of those reasons helped to change my life. One of my dear friends, Robert DePew, Bobby used to be a school teacher. One day decided he wanted to get into sales. When he did, his brother laughed at him, said Robert's lost his mind. He's going to go down the drain, lose everything. Bobby said, the way my brother acted when I got into sales, he said that made me so mad. Today, Robert happens to be one of my millionaire friends. Bobby's rich. And my question for you tonight is, is it possible to get that mad? Wealth is not a matter of intelligence. It's a matter of inspiration. Frank Sinatra said one time, the best revenge is massive success. Hey, get you a long enough list of reasons so that after tonight you never lack for inspiration. Now let me give you a little simple formula for goal setting. First of all, I've divided goals into two parts. 
first is long range. Your dreams for the next three, five, 10, 20, 30, 40 years, actually the rest of your life. You've got to keep dreaming. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to see? There's a Bible phrase that says, without dreams and visions, people perish. You've got to dream. Don't lose your dreams. That's long range goals. So that's number one. Here's the second part of goals, short range. That's your goals for tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, the immediate future. That starts building your strong feelings to go for your dreams. Make sure you've got your economics well planned. Economics is major, which means it ought to be meticulously well planned for tomorrow, this week, this month, this year, long range. What if you ask somebody tomorrow if you could see their meticulously well planned list of economic goals? They say, you some kind of a nut? You must be weird. Hey, I found out what success is. Success is doing what the failures won't do. Make a list of the things you want. And on my list of things, now I put everything. Doesn't matter how small it is, it goes on my list. And the reason is part of the fun of having a list is checking it off. Now, when you check off something major, celebrate. See, we all grow from two experiences. One is called the pain of losing. The other one is called the joy of winning, which also means make losing painful. On the other side, if you did get it, congratulate yourself. But hey, winning and losing, see, that's what it's all about. That's the name of the game. Now, some people lead such mediocre lives. At the end of the day, they don't know whether they're winning or losing. There's a better way. If you do not have it written down, your chances of it happening is reduced drastically. You have to have everything you want written. It's in the Bible. It says, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. Write everything you want on a piece of paper. Use your wildest imagination. If you can think it, you can achieve it. Come back here one year from today and see how much of that stuff then came true. What you think about your dream? And I want you to increase your dream. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. And greatness, ladies and gentlemen, greatness, it's a choice.